Welcome to Homeschooling with Heart. My name is Steph. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. All right, I'm just going to kind of jump right on into this subject because there's really no easy way to um, go into this subject. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what my family is going through, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the past, and then I'm going to ask a question and get your feedback and see um, see where you want to go from here, if anywhere. I have been preparing Remy for times that are going to be tight. I don't know about your area, but uh, just this week alone, um, gas went from $4.35 on Sunday to $4.85 today. Um, I don't know about your budget, but mine, I mean, huh, we haven't really, you know, we've prepared, but, um, there's a lot of other things that are costing money, right? But this is going up, but this is staying the same, right? So I don't know your situation, your situation, this may be going up right along with this, you know, um, but I know our situation. And I think that even if you aren't in this situation, um, it's good to talk to your children about what could be ahead. We've never been in this before. And I can tell you that the last time in 2008 when I was in commodities and Bear Stearns and all of these places were falling around me and nobody was looking and I was like, uh, hello. I was able to warn some people and I feel like, I feel like that's why I hit the record button just now is to talk to you and to see what you're doing, you know. What are you talking to your grandchildren about, your children about? Um, you know, I bought the Sunlight 320 core, and that's actually 20th century history. Um, one of the books that I have is this life book here. Uh, there was, I don't think, any better publication to put out something like this. Um, but I have quite a few things that I'm going over with him, uh, some documentaries. We're also watching things that occurred in the Dust Bowl. We're watching things that occurred during the Great Depression. But this is going to be different, right? Because we have the um, inflation going on and we have uh, interest rates going up. And so there's a lot of pans on the stove. <laughs> you know, you got potatoes boiling here and you have macaroni boiling here and you've got rice going here and you're turning around and you're going, okay, oh my gosh, they're all that, you know, like that from boiling over which one is going to make the less mess. And that's the one that I'm going to save for last. I'm going to pick up the one that will make the largest mess, right? Um, Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. That's always been what I have done. I know from past experience with my children, going through the 90s recession, going through the um, the, the tech bubble, um, that was, uh, yeah, that, that was bad. Um, and then 2008, a lot of us experienced 2008. Um, I was a kid in the 70s. I remember, what I remember from my childhood is losing our home, having to move into uh, a very small apartment. I remember my mom crying a lot. I remember my mom having to go get a job. I remember um, having to go to daycare. And I remember the gas lines. And I remember she could only get gas on uh, certain days. They went by license plates. 
And I remember the tension that was there just in that era. And I remember as a kid being so scared because I didn't know what was going on. I just knew that all these changes were coming and they were coming quick. I don't want my grandson to feel that. I didn't want my kids feeling it either. So I tried to be as upfront with them as I could. Um, anyway, for me, I would rather go through the pain than have, um, have my children have to do it later on in life. I would rather do it now, but that's, that's just me. But I thought because of my experience in finance and with, um, a couple of recessions, um, and being a part and in the middle of really watching that 2008 crash happen. And, um, I didn't know that TARP was going to happen. None of us knew, right? That TARP was going to happen. Um, because that's really the only thing that that's the only reason we didn't have a meltdown, but I haven't heard anybody. I mean, there's no, <laughs> there hasn't been anybody coming and going, okay, here's, here's your tarp. <laughs> you know, you want to know what I'm doing. If you want to uh, bounce some ideas off of each other, you know, make a comment and, and let me know what, what you're feeling. Hit the like button, subscribe. Um, you know, the more subscribers that we can get, the more that I can uh, put out polls and kind of test the waters to see uh, what subjects that you would like me to cover. That's the question. I know that the documentaries we've been watching, and I don't know if I can say this, I don't know if it's trademarked, but he's been watching a lot of, uh, he's discovered a, a show that's in black and white. And um, she was probably the best comedian around because her show has held up 70 years. And my grandson, my grandson is sitting in there right now watching it. And he is cracking up. He, he's just laughing. So we are getting to have some of those moments. I am, because I am exposing him to these things, we're finding these things. And these things are just making his day, you know? Because he's never seen anything like this before, right? I mean, especially his generation. And it's been kind of cool to talk to him about, you know, the language that they're using because he's like, what in the world does that even mean? <laughs> you know? And it's weird because I talked about it with my kids and now I'm talking about it with my grandson. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool show to stand the test of time. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen when I pushed the record button. I didn't know what I was going to say. All I knew is that I had to say something because I'm sitting in here preparing, uh, what we're going to talk about tomorrow. If you're interested in, uh, hearing more, hearing what we're doing, comment below, like this video, let me know. As always, be good to each other.